Welcome Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius, we are going to look at um, what is going on for you over the next two weeks and what guidance we can give to help you maybe along the way. Okay, everything's just jumping out already. You've got a lot to say, I see. So um, Aquarius, we will be using today the Nature's Whispers Oracle Cards, Grace Cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Um, Aquarius, if you haven't checked out your activation yet, please go and do so, okay? And any others that you may feel drawn to, okay? Okay, sorry, I just had to straighten up the camera then. Okay, right now, let's get into it, Aquarius. I just want to give these one more shuffle. Alrighty. Okay, so, so, so. Aquarius, open your heart. Open your heart. Um... I feel as though, interesting, so much is coming through here. Okay, let's just slow it down and go one step at a time here. First off, I feel like for some of you Aquarius, um, there's potentially a relationship that you dream of or that you would love to have. Um, and fear gets in the way, okay? Um, I feel like for some of you, there's still inner child work that needs to be done in order for you to open your heart, okay? Um, actually, I feel as though with that, some of you are closing your heart because you believe that will protect your inner child it's sort of like you've put her or him in a it's like you've created this safe world for the inner child and you've placed them in this world And sort of left them there because you feel it's the best thing for them. The one thing I want to say about that though is the world is quite small and limited. So they're not really experiencing everything they could experience. Okay. Um, and I understand that you do that out of love and protection. And this could even be your own children. For some of you, it may not be the inner child. It could be your own child. It's sort of like wrapping them in cotton wool and they're not really experiencing um, or they're not having the full experience of their life that they are here to have. Okay. Um, because I see the swan here lying with this lady and it looks very, um, very soft and loving and enticing. But I feel like the swan is in an unnatural environment here. And it's, I'm getting this vision of the swan lying there for so long that when the swan gets up to walk or fly, it can't. Because it's been stuck in this position for too long. And um, and I feel like, because I'm seeing this one here flying. Honestly, I've never seen a swan fly like this with its neck stuck out like that. I don't even know if I... Oh yeah, I think I've seen a swan fly. I don't even know actually. Do swans fly like that? I don't know. I'm going to check that out. But anyway. Anyway. I feel as though oh, it's just this sense of needing to stretch out, of needing to stretch out of the comfort zone. I understand the need for feeling safe, but it's sort of like it's sort of like you're in a position now where 
You don't need to be as protective. Mm, mm. Anyway, okay, so oh, I've got the wrong cards here. <laughs> I'm so engrossed in the card. Um, I also feel like there's something hidden here. Something hidden. Oh, I'm not sure what this is. Let's have a look. Anyway, sorry. I don't want to get tied up. We're trying to pinpoint what it is coming through if it's not coming through clearly. Maybe these cards will shed some light on that. That just went friggin' flying, man. <laughs> it's still on the table, but it just went Pow! like that. That's what cards sound like when they fly out of the deck. Pow! At least in my world, that's what they sound like. I'm still curious about this, though. I'm still curious about... Is this, I don't even know how to word it, but it's sort of like, oh, no, let's just do this, sorry. <laughs> it'll come, it'll come if it's meant to, it will come. Okay, so creativity. Yeah, see, getting creative, um, getting creative here, because it's like being in this energy here, right, um, is loving and it's, it's, it's comfort, it's comfort, okay, and, and that's cool. Um, but I feel like this creativity is inhibited because of this comfort zone. Okay, the inner child, yes, it needs to be protected. Yes, it needs to be healed. Guess what it also needs to do? It needs to come out and play. It needs to come out and have some fun. Right? And maybe there was a time where the inner child couldn't do that. Okay, so I feel like we also have integration here. So I feel like this is bringing all aspects into play. Okay, um, not just one or two. Really looking, really focusing on kids. What do kids to do? How do they play? You know, their nature, their carefree nature, and incorporating that into your life. Okay, right. So Aquarius, we're already like so far in. Now I've only done three cards, <sighs> leap of faith, wow, yeah, see, this is exactly what I feel like, you feel like Aquarius, it's like, if you were to spread your wings and let yourself fly Aquarius, you would be walking a tightrope of a very fragile web, of a, you know, it's just one string here, I hope you can see this, one small string, right? And you know what a spider web's like? It's so delicate. But the thing is, there's a safety net. You've, you've managed to build this safety net for yourself, okay? So even if you do step out and stretch your wings, okay? And if you fall, you've built the safety net for you. So that you will be caught, okay? It's not the same. It's not the same as once upon a time, okay? Um, you have you have done this, Aquarius. So I sort of feel like Aquarius. Why would you go to the effort to build a safety net, and then not step out of your comfort zone? And, you know, take the risk of needing to use that safety net. Right? Trust. Trust. Yes. Trust that you will be okay. You, will, you can fly. You can spread your ring, wings and fly, right? What is getting in the way of this? What is getting in the way of you doing this, Aquarius? This. This is in your way. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. That self-talk, you know, and, and it's not just the self-talk. It's, it's what's going on in your mind, but also what is coming out of your mouth. Be very aware of that and play, pay 
close, close attention to the words that you're speaking and how is that manifesting in your life? Okay, what is this story that you're telling? Okay, and I say that because I remember um, a while ago now that we were in a situation where we were renting in um, houses and every year the landlords sold the house. Okay, and this became my story where I was like, oh, well, we'll move into this house for this year and then next year we'll have to look for another place because they always sell the house. And it happened like that until I caught myself doing this. So then the next property we moved into, I went, okay, we're going to be here. Um, and the next property we moved, because I had already been telling the story, right? So I'm like, right, the next property we move in, uh, into is going to be there. Uh, we're going to be there long enough to save up to build our own place and, and you know, we'll move out of there into our own place. And that is the story I started telling and that is exactly what happened. Okay, so just be really aware of what story are you telling. Okay, higher ground. Yeah, um, with that, you see, this is the thing with the storytelling, right? At some point, I was able to lift myself up and see how this was creating everything. And I feel like this is really important for you to do, Aquarius. There's something also about you being detached from the rose bush. It's sort of like relying on a singular flower, a singular rose to carry you. And by the way, though, what a beautiful rose to be carried by, right? Like, that's that's gorgeous. Wouldn't blame you. <laughs> I'd probably jump on the rose too. But can you imagine? You could have the whole rose bush. And each, it's sort of like, okay, this is what I'm being shown. Each rose has a different um, journey that it takes, okay? When it comes away from the rose bush, one rose goes this way, another rose goes that way, okay? And I feel like you've been tra traveling on the same rose for a really long time because you know this rose and um, and it feels safe to you. This is your comfort rose. <laughs> Not your comfort zone, but your comfort rose, okay? And the thing is, Aquarius, I feel like if you hop on another rose, still the same beautiful rose, not the same because it's different, but it's still a rose and it's still from the same bush. And I feel like this bush is the safety net that you've built for yourself. But because you've become attached to this one rose, you're stuck to it because you've found that, oh, it takes me on a safe journey, so on, sweet. I'm going to stick with that rose. But I just feel like it's time to journey on another rose now. And it's going to be okay because it's from the rose bush. Okay, it's not from a thistle bush, which doesn't really make sense. Because thistles don't really have the flowers. But anyhow, you get, get the idea, right? Um, yeah, so tell me more about higher ground. And, you know, this is also seeing things, I guess, from a... That has gone flying onto the floor. I don't know if you saw that or not, but that was like a... I haven't got a sound effect for that, but is it landed? No, it's landed upside down. I can't even see what it is. But let's get one more card for higher ground. There we go. Okay. I'm going to pause you while I pick up this card. Okay. So this is interesting. When we're talking about higher ground here, right? Um, what has come out here? The one that landed on the floor is schizophrenia. And... We've also had sorrow jump out, but I'll come to that in a tick. The higher ground. You see this person here hanging between the two, two um, surfaces? It's so high up off the ground. That's the first thing that jumped out at me. I just wonder. Okay, okay. So I feel like... It, it's sort of like if you jump onto another rose, you're afraid it's going to go too high. Okay, and because I just wonder if the rose that you were traveling on, it's not there anymore. Maybe it's too traveled 
and you need to get on another rose. Maybe you're being forced to get on another rose to take another journey in another direction and you're really, really scared. And maybe this is what this leap of faith is about. But remember, you've built a safety net, okay? But here's the thing, Aquarius. I don't even know if you really have faith in that the safety net is going to be strong enough to catch you if you fall. You are in two minds. It's sort of like you want to take the journey, but you don't because you're so afraid. And that's understandable. I feel as though there's this need to face the fear and do it anyway. Um, but you're afraid because of the sorrow. And I feel like this is sorrow that you actually experience when no one is around. It's not sorrow that you share with anybody. And it's it's sort of like you bring the sorrow up and out, but you also don't acknowledge it. It's kind of like crying and you wait for the tears to dry up. But then the emotions that have maybe triggered that crying aren't being acknowledged and looked at. So that is something that I feel like you really, really, really need to do. Okay, um, but I do feel like there is some sort of decision that you need to make and I feel like this sorrow within you is holding you back from making that. Okay, make a wish. Wow, you've definitely got this new beginning coming in, man, and I actually feel like for some of you it could be that maybe, sorry, let me show you this card, maybe it's actually sorrow from Lisa. Okay. Okay, Aquarius, you're, sorry. So here's what I feel like could be happening. You have to now travel the next leg of your journey on a dandelion petal. You haven't got the security of the rose anymore. And it's really scary and you feel so vulnerable because the rose is so much bigger than a delicate dandelion you're scared of where it's going to land and maybe this is what the sorrow is because you have to leap off the freaking rose bush for goodness sakes that is scary that is scary you're sort of on the tightrope i feel like you're on the tightrope in between the rose bush and the dandelion but again remember this mind where do you want sorry getting carried away where do you want your petal to carry you? Okay, what is it that's coming out of here? This is going to determine where this lands. Okay, is it going to land in a field full of thorns or is it going to land in a field full of rose bushes? But remember, Aquarius, rose bushes also have thorns. So I guess whereabouts on the rose bush do you want to land? Do you want to land on a prickly little thorn that's going to hurt you? Or do you want to land on the rose itself? Mm, mm, mm. Where do you want to be taken? Where do you want to travel? Tell me more about make a wish and rebirth. Love it. Make a wish. Rebirth. One more card for make a wish. No, one. Just one more card for make a wish. For Aquarius, please. It's exciting, but I just feel this real fear from you. See this here? Here's what I feel like with this, right, Aquarius? This is you. Okay. And what's happened is you've had to rise up through this camel, I feel like you were stored in the camel for a really long time. Like how camels store water, right? I feel like you kind of kept yourself in the camel for a really wrong, long time um, as a bit of a safety thing. It was a familiar setting that um, you feel comfortable in. Okay, but at some, time, at some stage you've travelled through, um, through the lion and now rising up, ready to rise up 
And I feel like with everything maybe that you have gone through for th throughout the entirety of your life, you're rising up to the light now. And it's so beautiful. It's like being carried up by the rose. And I feel as though this is the growth that needs to happen for this music to be coming out of you. You know, you've, you may have heard Wayne Dyer say, do not die with your music still in you. And this is what I feel like this is saying. This is a rebirth. This is a new beginning. Yes, a new beginning for you to be able to play your own tune. Okay, okay, because, you know, you've traveled, you've traveled this journey for a really long time. And you, a lot of you have traveled it alone. Yes, you may have had support along the way, but the guiding light has been yours. Okay, and you may have felt like you've been heading towards this light all the time and not actually realizing the light you were heading towards was inside you all the, to the whole time, right? And maybe this is part of this rebirth, you realizing who you truly are here. Okay, so next card, love matters. Oh, yes, love matters. And I just wonder, you know, with this open your heart, you know, it could be that for a while that you decided you didn't need to. You didn't need that, you know. You didn't need that. You didn't need a relationship. You didn't need love. You could do it on your own. But love does matter, you know. It's what make the, makes the world go around. Okay, so tell me more about love matters for Aquarius, please. Love matters. Self-love matters right transformation transformation and innocence transformation and innocence let's have a look here Aquarius it's really funny because I actually feel like this is you this is you coming out and actually experiencing, because here, open your heart. Remember how, see, the reason I was talking about the inner child being put in a little world, nice and safe, right, is because for the first time I saw this child in here, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's this child in here and it looks like this whole separate world, right? And, um, and I feel like this is this child sort of being set free. You know, and it could be that this child grew into this adult and could only dream of actually experiencing love or experiencing a healthy, loving relationship. And I, I also am so drawn to the fact that we have two exact same positions here with this master dude and this one here coming out of the tree like it's like this being set free you know and I just wonder for you Aquarius if, if this is about you setting yourself free I wonder if for some of you you've kind of caged yourself in his protection for such a long time that it's now um at the point where it's it's not healthy and it's hindering your growth, hindering your ability um, to be able to spread those wings. Like this one. Don't you want to dance? Don't you want to spread your wings? Don't you want to fly? I know that some of you are going, nah, nah, bugger that. <laughs> I might crash and burn. But the thing is, to have that experience... Even if it doesn't necessarily go exactly the way you want it to, to have that experience, I feel like that's better than doing the same thing that this, that it's like this groundhog day or this daily grind kind of thing. It's sort of like stepping out of that comfort zone. Once you do that, you're going to be so pleased you did, regardless of the outcome. 
Okay, now we have ideal course of action. <laughs> what is this ideal course of action here, Aquarius? Notice the dandelion. I'm drawn to this straight away. The dandelion is here, ready to be blown. Make a wish, Aquarius. Make a wish. Okay, looking at this direction that you want to go in. Okay, looking um, because you see here, Aquarius, she, I, this is how I see this card, okay. Here's the destination here. Okay, it's like this is sort of an obvious path to travel. Okay, but she, she's looking over this way and going, okay, well, what's over here? Could I travel it this way? Because I'm actually seeing over here that there's, there's a helicopter there that maybe I could jump in and travel that. Or, you know, there's, there's a whole nother play, way to discover. Could I pave the way myself? Could I actually pave that for other people? Is there a better way to travel? You know, and so maybe this is what it is for you. Um, ideal course of action. Tell me more about this for Aquarius, please. Two more for ideal course of action for Aquarius, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we've got three jump out, so I'm going to take all three. Slowing down. You know what I feel like with this? I feel like you're coming out of your shell. Slowly but surely, baby steps. You know, when you come, it's like this turtle has been out of its natural environment for such a long time time that it finally reaches the water's edge and may go running in and because it hasn't been in the water for such a long time it doesn't remember how to swim or it's never been in the water so it doesn't know how to swim so it's got to take it step by step and learn what it needs to do because it, this is a natural environment for it okay so slowing down okay one step at a time you then have the dream and this is what I feel like is happening here. This dream here. But for some of you, it's like, I could never have that. Either you feel like you're not deserving of that, or you feel like it's never going to happen for you. Remember. Remember this. Because this here, when you think, oh, that's never going to happen for me. That's what you send out, right? But what happens is it pollutes your environment. Okay, if you believe you're deserving of this dream, because you do dream of it, this is the thing. Okay, so to get to this dream, what is the ideal course of action? Is thinking that, oh, oh, I'm never going to get that, that's never going to come to me. I really, really want it, but it's never going to happen. That's not going to bring it, you know. So really, really considering the ideal course of action to get to the harmony that you want to get to. This is the Ten of Cups. Okay. So what is the ideal course of action to get here? Okay. So let's have a look at the Grace cards. To see what extra messages they have here for you Aquarius. Imagination. So funny because I haven't felt called to shuffle them with these before. Because I did shuffle them earlier. Anyway, Imagination. Okay, this is my favourite card of this deck. I love these cards. Okay, life's difficulties are a call to consciousness. A grace-inspired event that challenges us to reach beyond limited thinking. Hallelujah. There you go. Yes. Let's read it again. <laughs> life's difficulties are a call to consciousness. A grace-inspired event that challenges, uh, that challenges us to reach beyond Limited thinking. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Okay, let's see what else we have for your Aquarius here. Two more for Aquarius, please. Two more grace cards for Aquarius. What other messages do we have here? Here we go. Flipped up. Dance. When we ask for guidance, take action. And put our faith in an outcome we can't yet see. We've begun to dance with grace. Perfect. Oh my gosh, that is so perfect for you. Awaken. Keep your eyes open. When we decide 
to live a more conscious life, we see signs of grace everywhere. Beautiful. That is beautiful. And you will see that playing out. You will see how you're supported. And you will see that the entire universe has your back. Okay? You're not in it alone. I know sometimes it may feel like that. But you know, you know in your soul that your angels, your guides, and your soul family here on earth have your back. So, yeah, this is really awesome, Aquarius. I, I hope that that helps you. And I hope this has given you things to work on over the next two weeks, okay? Um, please share these videos so that we can help other people, okay? And don't forget to check out your activation. I don't remember what it is. But Aquarius, it may very well help you. Okay, so take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.